Good day, viewers. It is your friend, the gunman here from Nashville, Tennessee, with your daily dose of good news, your emotional cup of coffee, your spiritual lift me up for the day, because to be honest with you, I think a lot of us need it. I know I do, and this helps me out, so bear with me. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. I uh, hope you're having a great day. Make sure you smash that like button and uh, you join the mailing list because we got lots of music coming out and I want to keep you connected with the good news every single day. On that note, today's good news, it's pretty cool. I don't know if this is a problem in your area or not, but here in Nashville, Tennessee and lots of parts of the Midwest as well, especially in the warmer temperatures, Lyme disease is really an issue. It's a tick-borne disease. It's a bacteria that is actually, uh, they call it a vector-borne disease, so it's actually spread by by, by ticks when people go out into the woods. And I didn't know this, but apparently 300,000 people each and every year contract Lyme disease, and it is a drag. I've got a lot of friends who've, who've had it, and it, it's apparently really painful. It, it first attacks your muscles and your joints and gives you aches and cramps and all of that. And then it can progress to be even more harmful, uh, give you uh, carditis and neurological problems. And the good news for today is that Baylor University has just embarked on a brand new study funded by our Department of Defense to actually come up with an RNA vaccine to fight Lyme disease. And currently there's no vaccine available right now. But with everything that's been going on with coronavirus and all the, uh, the attention that that's been getting, one of the spin-offs from that, one of the positive byproducts, is that a lot of that protein uh, work that they're doing to, uh, to make that uh, a little less sticky on the outside of the, of the virus, they feel that they can actually apply to a, a, a vaccine that actually will work for Lyme disease. And I think that's incredible. So they just got their funding and they've just embarked on the study and the researchers that are involved in it are very, very optimistic that within a year or two, we might actually have an effective and safe vaccine to combat Lyme disease. And I think that's great news. So that's the good news for the day. Simple, beautiful, and classic. Now, I want you to go out there, laugh a lot, not worry about anything. Okay, make sure that you are not so afraid that you forget to live. And we'll see you tomorrow. Lots of love.